topic, horsepower. I talk about all the time on this podcast. I copy and paste. I say how much I want horsepower, how much NASCAR needs to put horsepower, how much NASCAR needs to stop trying to save money and start spending money to make the sport better, blah, blah, blah. Well, I'm starting to get a little more clarification. We're starting to inch our way hopefully closer to hopefully making a change and hopefully getting a change to happen. Well, Bob Fisher, who is the vice president for ECR Engines, they, they are the engine builders for RCR, Chevrolet. Well, he talked about how the feasibility of adding horsepower isn't that hard and isn't that difficult to do. Listen here. We want all the horsepower we can get. And, you know, these engines are capable of producing well over 900 horsepower. Um, but I think to help the racing, if they wanted us to bump this uh, power level up to, say, six 750 horsepower, wouldn't be a huge tear up for the engine companies. We already have a package that we used to run engines multiple races with the seals on and um, would feel quite comfortable doing that. Um, but I know NASCAR, um, they don't really want to talk about it. They haven't really asked much of the engine companies. I know when they have asked us, we haven't been against it by any stretch of imagination. And I will say that, uh, I think that we could give these drivers more horsepower with, uh, a, an engine package that has already been validated, um, uh, to, to run, you know, more than one race, uh, at a 750 horsepower, uh, level. Talks about. Bob Fisher talks about how it wouldn't be that difficult to add horsepower. Because they already had once he already talks about how they already had an engine package that was like that. But I believe the end of the, the end of the Gen Six car that was that was what they were running top top horsepower was around seven fifty. So they said with the current engine they already have, it wouldn't really be that difficult. A couple of changes here, and they should have seven fifty horsepower very easily, and it wouldn't afford and cost the teams that much. I mean, and also he talks about how NASCAR hasn't really talked to them much about it. And when they do, they have never denied NASCAR about not adding horsepower easily. I mean, now it just looks like, I mean, NASCAR has no no excuse. I mean, now it just looks like NASCAR doesn't want to add horsepower. It's like they're allergic to adding horsepower. Uh, now, with 750 horsepower, would 750 horsepower be enough to make a change? Listen to what Ty Ryan had to say on the Door Bumper Clear podcast. In Sam, there was, oh, shoot, a couple months ago, just for fun, uh, I, you know, I asked some of the guys 23 of let's just, you know, there was a weird knob we could kind of work on to just basically increase the power of the car by, I don't know, 150 horsepower. Didn't really yeah. change much. I mean, we're talking the amount of off-throttle time was reduced very little. Because the lap time dropped so very little. No, I, I, think I don't think. I think there's a lot of things added to it. I think isn't it's there? Dra the drag of the car, the the min speed of the car. Like the car has a lot of scrub. Um, so, my, how, how many horsepower would you need to make a difference? I mean, a lot. That's what I think. That I, I mean, think, we're. I think you need to be above a thousand horsepower to like. I so, Tyler next said they did a simulator test. He asked some of the guys at 2311 if they could do do a simulator with more horsepower, around 150 horsepower more, and they said they didn't really do much. Didn't really make much of a change. So he's saying that they're probably going to do well over a thousand horsepower. Now that is a little too extreme, a little too much for right now. As look, every NASCAR fan would love to add have that, but right now NASCAR is barely willing to want to even add seven fifty horsepower, if at any horsepower. But I mean, they they need to just do a test. They need to find a way to do a test. I feel like as NASCAR fans, we're starting to closer and closer. We got to keep pushing. Keep talking about this stuff because I feel like we're going to keep forcing the, and pressuring NASCAR to make a change. And to me, I feel like NASCAR, the reason they don't want horsepower is because it doesn't fit their narrative of adding uh, of having more manufacturers. Lower horsepower means more manufacturers. They, they I feel like they don't want to be proven wrong. And I just feel like, man, I feel like with that motto, they're hurting themselves because they, they're limiting their ability to improve the sport. Make it the best possible because they're... they're they're looking at something that may never even happen. We may never get another manufacturer in the sport for a while. They're worrying about something that isn't even, could, could not even be an issue right now. It's not even a, a priority. Now, yes, has Honda said stuff about maybe coming in? Yes, but that's nothing. None of this, nothing's guaranteed or nothing's announced or nothing's even close to happening. I mean, NASA just needs to, I don't know, man. They just got to go test, man. And, hey, if 750 horsepower doesn't work, at least you tried. Instead of using stinking excuses all the time, 
about not wanting to try it because it costs money. And at least you, you you listen to the fans, which you say you do a good job of, and you officially we at least we got at least a, a good point, at least a good outlook on what maybe we have to do, whether it's add more or maybe who knows, maybe the seventy three horsepower is enough. We just to me, I think shifting on the short tracks is the most important thing, and also tire wear. Uh, if I got a tire that wears enough, uh, and 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 but wears enough out and not just, you know, with the Martinsville tire, it wore out, but then it, I felt like it stopped wearing at a certain point and then they just last it long. Uh, they got to find a tire that fully just wears, wears out, but doesn't blow out. And I think they're getting closer and closer. I felt like with that short track test, the best thing out of that short track test was, was not the splitters or anything aerodynamically. It was the tires. And I don't think, I don't think the package is going to improve because once, and also, the more downforce you take out, the less the wear is going to be, the less pressure on those tires. So, I just hope that uh, as NASCAR fans, we got to keep pushing this whole, keep pushing on NASCAR to make changes. I mean, I just think we just got to get a test. Please, could we test 750 horsepower? That's all I'm asking. <laughs> Thank you.